In this video, we're going to look at how to install PowerShell Pro Tools for Visual Studio Code. PowerShell Pro Tools provides a bunch of extra features that the PowerShell extension doesn't have. But that said, it does use the PowerShell extension, so you'll need both of them when you install it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click the Extension Activity button here. It's going to open the extensions, and what you can actually do is search for extensions at the top by typing PowerShell. The first extension that I'm going to want to install is either PowerShell or PowerShell Preview. PowerShell Pro Tools supports both. I'm just going to install the PowerShell um, extension. So now that the PowerShell extension is installed, I can go ahead and install the PowerShell Pro Tools extension. I'm going to click Install there. And PowerShell Pro Tools will um, install as an extension, and then in the background, when it first activates, it's going to download the PowerShell Pro Tools host. And depending on your uh, version of your operating system, it's going to download a, a different version of that host. So now that PowerShell Pro Tools has been installed, what you'll see on the left-hand side here is that I have the PowerShell Activity button, and I also have the PowerShell Pro Tools Activity button. So clicking that is going to activate the extension, and you're going to see the PowerShell extension load, and you're also going to see the PowerShell Pro Tools extension load. As you can see here on the left-hand side, uh, it says that I'm unlicensed, and the PowerShell Pro Tools welcome page has shown up here. Uh, you can get a free 14-day uh, trial if you just want to try it out, but if you already have a license, you can go ahead and install it. There's an Install License button here that you can click. It's actually going to pop up a dialog where you can select your license. Uh, in my case, I have my license on my desktop. If for some reason that you have closed this window, you can also hit Control shift p to open up uh, the command palette inside of Visual Studio Code. And if you type install uh, license, you'll have the install license key command here for PowerShell Pro Tools. And that's going to do the same thing. Um, they're kind of issuing the same command. So I'm going to select my license. And you can see at the bottom left here, it says that my uh, license was installed successfully. And if I actually refresh these, you can see that uh, now um, they no longer say unlicensed. And it's actually going to allow me to access the features of PowerShell Pro Tools. So uh, if you want to follow along with the other videos in this course, you can learn about all the features of PowerShell Pro Tools.